Hello everyone, welcome to Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. Just coming back at you with another video. Uh, today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you some 1976 um, and some 1976 traded. And also, surprise, surprise, I am going to show you my top 15 uh, favorite autograph cards. I was going to do five but then I couldn't decide. I was gonna do 10, and I couldn't decide, so I narrowed it down to 15. Um, I'm gonna show you in no particular order, but before that, I'm going to uh, show you some 76s. So stay tuned, because that will be at the end. All right? All right, so first of all, we got Paul Lindblad. Again, these are 1976s. John Walkenfuss, I remember him. That card's water damaged right there a little bit. Paper loss. But still, it exists, so I'm happy. Uh, the 1976 Yankees uh, team card with Billy Martin. Uh, let's see who's on the back of that. Um, Sandy Alomar, Sandy Alomar Jr.'s. Dad, Bobby Bonds, Barry Bonds' dad. Uh, you got Chris Chambliss, uh, Catfish Hunter, Billy Martin, a manager, Thurman Munson. Pretty good, pretty good, some pretty good names on there. So, Brian Downing. Andre Thornton. Young Andre Thornton. I remember him with the Indians. And I remember Brian Downing with the Angels from the 80s. Don't know this guy. Lenny Randall. Never heard of him. Oh, and by the way, guys, I, this is the year I was born. so But I never had any of these because, yeah, I was, like, just born. <laughs> Gary Maddox. So, obviously, I didn't buy cards. And, uh, you know, could have had uh, somebody buy them for me for future, but nobody did. And then my brother had some cards, my one brother. And uh, he just, he said my mom just threw them all away. Dave Duncan, he was the pitching coach for Oakland and the Cardinals with Tony La Russa. Mike Beard. I actually knew a kid named Mike Beard. Didn't look anything like that, though. But, yeah, my dad had cards, too. He said he put them in his spokes, and he don't know what happened to them. He, he said he was rough with them because, you know, they didn't expect to keep them. Bobby Darwin. But I think about it, man. My dad... He was a kid. He didn't turn 18 until 1947, so Chris Chambliss, I mean, he would have had some old, old cards. He would have had cards from the 30s, he had like Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig and stuff like that. Chris Chambliss, oh yeah, I already showed you him. Um, now we got a couple of these father-sons, Bob Boone, Ray Boone. There's Bob Boone talking about his dad. I ain't going to read it. You guys can. Roy Smalley Jr. and Roy Smalley Sr. There's Roy Smalley Jr. talking about his dad. Hal McCray. A little bit of paper loss right there. Or I don't think that's paper loss. I think that's... uh. Printing error, actually. Pedro Bourbon. I know that name. Jim Doyer. I know him. I think I remember him from the uh, Orioles. Doug Bird. I don't know him. 
Lee Lacey. I remember him. Him being on the Pirates. That's what I remember. I think in the Orioles as well. Biff Pacorba. Pacoroba. Pacoroba. I don't know. I've seen that name before, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Don Kirkwood. No clue on him. Got another one. Jay Johnstone. Charlie Moore. Do remember him a little bit. Andy Etch, Etch Baron. No, I have no clue on that guy. He started in 1962. That was his first year. Gary Matthews, senior, not junior. A little uh, messed up corner there is coming off. But otherwise, looks all right. Looks like his fourth year or something. There's Larry Boa. I know he's a manager. I think for the Phillies as well, I believe. Jim Slayton. No, not so much. Skip Lockwood. No. I don't know this guy. Greg Gross. I think there was a Greg Gross in the 80s, but I don't. I think he was a pitcher. Could be wrong, though. Uh, here's a Texas Rangers team card. Frank Lucchesi. Let's see who's on the Texas Rangers. Um, Jeff Burrows. Uh, Mike Cubbage, I know that name. Jim Fergosi, the manager of the White Sox. And another, some maybe some other team. Mike Cargrove, another manager, manager of the Indians. Uh, Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer. Gaylor Perry, Hall of Famer. Uh, well, looks to be about it on there. Marty Perez, no clue on him. Steve Braun, no clue. Andy Hassler, no. Corn papers coming off there. Andy Ashby, or Alan Ashby, sorry. Yeah, I remember him from the 80s too. Jim Todd, no clue who Jim Todd is. Jim Todd again. Jim York, no clue. Larry Bittner. John Curtis. Jim Rooker. No clue on him either. None of those guys. Jim Rooker again. Bill Sharp. Richard Tidro. I know the name. Never saw him play, though. Rick Monday. I know, know him. know that name. Daryl Cheney. Nope. I love these older cards, these vintage cards. Steve Renko. I don't even care if it's a good player or not. Just to see the players and what they look like back then is cool. Eric Ed Kirkpatrick. Dick Bozeman. You know what I just thought of, guys? I wonder if anybody's ever started a baseball card museum. Bob Galluccio. I know they had somebody's collection at uh, the DIA, the Detroit Institute of Arts, for a while. Here's uh, Sporting News All-Time All-Stars, Mickey Cochran. He's a good catcher for us. And uh, he played for the A's, too.
six to Lescano. Yeah, no, I don't know him. Jeff Burrows. Pretty decent player there for three, four years, five years. Catcher also. Or no. No, he's not a catcher. I take that back because I read that down there. And it said the only catcher. I thought it said the only other catcher. Dave Collins. He's on the Tigers. Love that stash, Dave. Elias Sosa. No, but I seem to have a lot of his older cards. I don't know why. Bobby Valentine. He's a manager of the Rangers at one time. Ken Boswell. Can't say I know him. Denny Doyle. Nope. Don't know him either. Matt Alexander. Ed Goodson. He must not have been that good because I don't know him. Paul Mitchell. I don't know this is the guy with the hair products, that Paul Mitchell. The only reason I know that is my, my mom used to go to the salon all the time and get her hair done. I remember Paul Mitchell. Enos Cabell. He was on the Tigers in the 80s. Bill Singer. Toby Hera. I remember him from the Indians and a little bit with the Rangers. Another Toby Hera. Reggie Cleveland. Nope. No clue who that guy is. Ed Halicki. Nope. I've heard of this guy, but I don't really know. Renee Stanett. Don't really know much about him. Here, Doug DeSenses. Desen DeSenses. I never could pronounce his name. Can't remember how they pronounced it. But I remember him mostly from the Angels and a little bit with the Orioles. Larry Haney, no clue on this guy. I don't know him at all. Another Larry Haney. Buddy Bradford, nope, no clue on this guy. Tom Griffin, no clue. Looks like he was an Astro for a few years there. Hats. Uh, here's Dick Allen. I know he was an All-Star a few years. Looks like oh, he hit 40 home runs there. Not too bad. Pretty good. Some pretty good power numbers. Not bad. Not an All-Star, but pretty good. Earl Williams. Uh, Cesar Cedeno. It's off, off cut on the bottom. It's almost cut off there. Another Astro. Steve Hargan. Ken Henderson. No clue on that guy either. Bob Moose. Weird name, but hey. Whatever. Bruce Del Canton. No clue. Another one. Skip Juts. No clue. Another Astro. Frank Tanana. Yep. It's pretty good there. With the Angels, his strikeout numbers are pretty good, especially that season. 269, pretty good. Of course, he was with the Tigers later on. Marv Patton, or Marty Patton, sorry. The Pittsburgh Pirate. I know one, 
one player I look for is uh, he'll be on there. Is a uh, Willie Stargell? Yep. Um, Doc Ellis, I've heard that name. Al Oliver, Ed Ott, Dave Parker, uh, Willie Randolph, um, Manny Sanguian, Willie Stargell, Kent Tacolvi. Yeah, a few names I know. Mark Belanger. Uh, Ray Lyon, I mean Bear, that was a joke, sorry. Another Ray Bear that's tore up down the middle, had a strip of cardboard come off, but hey, it still exists. Wayne Granger, no clue on who he is. Speaking of Doc Ellis. I've heard of him. I don't really know him that well. well he did got a few wins there. He did has looked like he had a pretty decent career. Three point one six ERA, not bad. Lee Richard. Nope, no clue. Mike Thompson. No clue. Dave Rosello. No clue. Randy Tate. Couldn't tell you. Ken McMullen. Nope. I know this guy well. Former Red Sox, Dwight Evans. Does anybody know what his nickname is? I can tell you. Dewey. I remember, I like Dwight Evans. I liked the Red Sox back in the day. Here's another good player, Burt Campanaris. Good defensive shortstop, all-star. Here's yet another Astro, Tommy Helms. Look at that guy, sideburns. Wow, he looks old. Uh, he's 36, or 34, I mean. He's not that old. They looked older back in the day, rough living, I guess. Joe Torre, we all know him. All-star. And a great manager for the Yankees. And I think he was man manager of someone else, I think, too. Uh, here's uh, 1976 rookie pitchers. Steve Grilly, Craig Mitchell, George Throop, Jose Sosa. Don't know any of those guys. Here's another rookie. Don Ace, I'm going to assume. Jack Kuchek, Frank LaCourt, Mike Pozik. Ken Rudolph, no clue. Jim Holt. Vic Carell. Rich Folkers. I, I just thought about that after I said it. Bob Alanetta. Or Al Alietta. There is no N there, so it wouldn't be Alanetta. Bill Spire. Here's another pretty good hitter. Bill Madlock. I remember him with he was on the Tigers in the early nineties. I think it was the early nineties or it was the late eighties. Late late eighties, I think. And uh, but I remember him mostly from the Pirates also. Dennis Blair, no clue, another Dennis Blair, Ramon Hernandez, couldn't tell you, another Ramon Hernandez, Dave Roberts, another Astro, seems like we got most of the Astros here. Now here's a few trick uh, top traded. Doug Raider, Red Rooster dealt to San Diego. Wasn't that a wrestler, Red Rooster? Leon Roberts, don't know Leon Roberts. 
He gets traded from the Tigers to the Astros. Don't remember him. Then Bill Melton. Angels get Slugger Melton. And then Jim Crawford. Bengals get Catfish from Astros. So we got... So it looks like we traded players. All right, that's enough of those. Um, now I'm going to show you my 15 uh, favorite autos. Um, more than likely, a lot of them are my best autos too, but some of them aren't. Uh, but I'm not going to tell it. They're not in any particular order. They're just how I grabbed them when I looked through them. So um, first is this one, this Chris, Christian Stewart. Uh, rookie Auto, um, Refractor, uh, my little bro Hats got this for me in a contest. I can't remember whose contest it was, but he won it, and he sent it to me. So this really means a lot to me. Really cool card. I like it. Tiger also. I like Christian Stewart. Um, sure hope his career comes together. Uh, this other one I won, this one I won off of ABC uh, Cards, Eloy Jimenez Auto, Rookie Auto. Uh, this next one, um, I bought in a break with Papa J, and I got this Alex Verdugo on card auto, Rookie Auto. Um, this next card I got out of a, a pack. I can't remember if I got a bo what kind of box or just a pack. Probably a box. I don't usually buy packs. Uh, but this Aaron Nola rookie uh, green refractor auto. Numbered 99 out of 99. That's probably, I, hear, I hear if it's one or if it's the first number or the last number, it's worth more for some reason. Now this player... Um, one of the people that watch my channel sh said that they went to high school with this guy. Um, also, too, I really like this card before that. Um, it's it's only numbered to five. It's numbered four or five. I just really like the patch is huge. Um, this Luke and Baker auto. I know he's a prospect right now. I think he's, I think he's, I want to say he's with the Cardinals. So I like that auto a lot too. Um, another one I got from Fairfield is to make up for cards that were damaged. The Stan Musial auto, as you can tell, it was later on in his life. But still a Stan, Stan Musial auto nonetheless. This next one I got, I remember I got this, I bought a box of these. Um, and it was kind of neat. It's Xander Bogart's rookie light blue refractor auto. Numbered 147 out of 199. This next one I got in a box also. Um, it's Bowman Platinum. This uh, Pedro... Or not Pedro, um, Javier, that's what I meant. Javier Baez, Refractor, Auto, number 304, 399. Um, I had to send in for this. I got a redemption. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like Javi Baez. He's a good player. This this one all this one here is also a redemption. It's also a refractor. This Nolan Arenado. That's how it came to me. I didn't put it in that. That's how Top sent it to me. It was a redemption. I guess that was before they had stickers because that that was from them and that had a sticker, but this one didn't. Maybe they ran out of stickers or something. But this is a, a two wait forty five out of four ninety nine. So it's one of my favorites. Also, on um, this next auto, like I said before, said in the past, I uh, never seen another card like this. So, um, I don't know how, you know, how many cards of these kind exist, but I haven't seen any of any other players, but this Adam Jones from 2012 Topps Chrome, I got this out of a box. 
the Topps Chrome that I bought from that year. Number 12 out of 25. I like I like Adam Jones. Good player, quiet player, speed, power, defense, all that good stuff. Um, this next one, Pete Rose. Nothing else needs to be said. Pete Rose. I got this out of a, a blaster box I got from Target, I remember. I got a blaster box of these one time just because I like Pete Rose. Uh, this next one, this one was also a redemption um, from 2012. Bowman Platinum, this Jay Bruce uh, Relic Auto sticker on st a sticker auto. Uh, not numbered, but I think it's a I think it's a refractor. I don't know. I don't know if it's a refractor or not, but it doesn't say refractor, but doesn't sometimes it doesn't say that. So that one's cool. Um, this next one is uh, from 2012 Bowman Chrome. Xander Bogart's first Bowman Chrome auto. Not not a refractor or anything, just his regular auto. So that's really cool. I remember getting this um, at a card shop that I used to go to, but I don't live by it anymore, so I don't go there anymore. Um, but I just got a pack, a random pack, and I got it, and I was like, oh, I got an auto. And I said, who's this guy? And the guy at the store didn't had no clue who he was. And he's like, well, he's, you know, if he has a card, and he must be pretty good. Well, yeah. On um, this next one, um, I got points that I, I purchased with my points. Um, this one, I think it's from Panini. Or I think it's, yeah, Panini Donruss. This Miggy Cabrera Prime Patches. I really like this. I love Miggy. My only Miggy auto. Got a 3 4 relics, but it's my only Miggy auto. And this is my absolute favorite um, for more than one reason. Um, it's because it was a gift from my ex wife when things were peachy keen. Um, and this is Verlander's been one of my favorites since the day he came out. And my wife got it, you know, behind my back. We were at an antique mall, and she purchased this without me knowing it and then gave it to me when we got home. I love it. This is probably my favorite card, I'd say. 258 out of 500. Now, don't let all the scratches fool you. That's on the, that's on the case. That's not on the card. But... Yeah, it was uh it means a lot to me. So, yep, there's my t top 15 favorite autos. Um I thought I'd surprise you guys and uh do that. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'm not going to sit here and talk a lot because the video is already 28 minutes long, but you guys be kind to one another. Be safe out there and just do what you love, do what you have a passion for, as long as it's productive and, you know, not dangerous or not bad or whatever, and have fun. All right, guys, Till next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.